Hi. This is the third video about making a commitment to content in 2019. In the first video, I covered why we are making this commitment to content. Our commitment starts with your goals and creating a strategy to deliver on those goals. In my last video, I talked about utilizing that strategy to create a content marketing plan that delivers on your goals. And in this video, I want to talk about the things we can do to make sure that the plan we created is actually delivering on those goals. First, let's all agree that there's no reason to create content just to create content. There has to be purpose and meaning behind it. There's no use of putting a billboard in the desert if no one's going to see it. So how do we make sure that someone is going to see it? When it comes to the content on our websites, we want to create content that addresses what our audience is looking for. We do this by incorporating search engine optimization or SEO best practices into our digital content. Well, what does that mean? Well, in short, SEO is focused on acquiring organic website traffic and high search results. Organic website traffic is traffic that is earned, not paid for, by having the content on your website that addresses the information that your desired audience is looking for. So how do we attract that audience? We attract them by using keywords in our content. The same keywords that our desired audience is using when they do a Google search. How do we know what keywords to include? Well, that's going to take a little bit of research on your part. The first thing you can do is make a list of topics that are relevant to your business. From those topics, you can then identify specific keywords and phrases. Take those keywords and phrases and plug them into Google. What do you see? Do they align with similar businesses or services? Maybe they are your competitors. You can also use tools like Google's AdWords Keyword Planner and Google Trends to determine the keywords that you want your business to rank for. When we have determined the keywords we want to rank for, we are going to use Google Analytics to measure our success. We're going to track things like page views, clicks, bounce rates, and gauge what content on your site is of interest to your desired audience. Now you have to be patient. This analysis takes time to determine trend lines. Content marketing results don't happen overnight. But if you set a time frame of, say, 90 days to benchmark, you can draw some significant conclusions from that data and then make adjustments for the next 90 days going forward. Some other ways we can determine if your content is working is through your social media channels. If you're doing a blog, make sure your viewers can easily share it on their social channels. Is that content being shared and engaged with? And lastly, are you generating any leads from your content? Are your website visitors responding to your call to action to contact you, whether it's through email, phone calls, or scheduling a demo? What I want to say here is that yes, there is a way to measure your content marketing efforts. Making a commitment to content is a big deal and you want to be rewarded for your efforts. You also want to be able to show your organization that an investment into content can make a big impact for them and deliver on their goals. So, now we have the three parts to making a commitment to content in 2019. Define your goals, make a plan, and measure the data to ensure that you are achieving those goals. I've covered all of these topics at a very high level, and I look forward to diving in deeper into this subject and more in the videos to come. I'm passionate about content marketing and the power it has to really move the needle for you and your company. 
So again, for any insight into your content strategy, your goals, your plan, or measuring the results of your content, reach out to me anytime. Thanks.